Hello everyone and welcome to another really short blog. I thought I'd address a question that someone asked me the other day. It's pretty much when I'm playing uh, retro games, what sort of controller um, do I use? Well, that's a, that's a quite an interesting question. Um, now, uh, quite a lot of the time I'm playing retro games on uh, emulation there. Uh, when I first started getting uh, into them, uh, mainly on the Commodore Amiga, um, I was trying to use the keys. Some games um, favour that okay. Other games like Kickoff 2, you might as well uh, forget it. So initially I tried to use what I had around me. Um, I tried to configure the uh, PlayStation 3 controller I had, because that was a USB port. Um, I pro well, not programmed, I plugged it in there hoping it would auto-configure, but then uh, nothing whatsoever. Apparently there is a way of getting a PlayStation 3 controller to, to work with emulators, but it's a little bit tricky, and a lot of faffing around and um, downloaded drivers. And even then, really, you're not getting to get an authentic um, feel for it, because the main advantage with retro gaming is to try and make it as feel as much as the original experience as you possibly can. So controllers you pretty much want light to like. I mean ideally you want to play it on the original machine although that isn't uh, always possible. In terms of recording um, if I was to record directly off the screen with a camera pointed at it you'd get a headache very quickly. Um, a lot of people can uh, do videos okay in that fashion but I, I can't. I get a headache very quickly if it's not um, bang on and uh, it isn't. So. I do it all digitally through our emulation, really. Um, so the uh, the joystick I sort of like um, went to, I've written its name down because um, it's such a long one. Uh, I ended up with the Speedlink Sports Tournament Edition Competition Pro USB joystick. Well, there we go. Uh, it looks pretty much like a, like a joystick from back in the day uh, that you would have fought on the Commodore Amiga. It's an eight directional switch stick, um, essentially. Got a couple of um, uh, good fire buttons. A few extra additional ones here, which you can also program for emulators. And also has got, uh, well, a, a auto fire. I don't know if you can see that there. So that's pretty iconic, isn't it? It looks a lot like the controllers back in the day. So I use that on Spectrum games and Commodore Amiga games as well. Uh, it has the USB port, which is uh, always a, a bonus. Uh, the main advantage of this one, I um, had it for over about a year and a half, uh, it, it's, it plays quite well, I mean, um, weighs less than 400 uh, grams, so it is quite light, uh, nice feel to it, nice sound, uh, generally brilliant, I mean, um, come with very little um, um, software when I put it into the emulators, I think there was a, uh, an initial messing around to start off with, but you're up and running in about five minutes of that so it's, it's a very quick uh, plug and play and you like kick off two with one of these awesome it really makes it really makes a big difference um, I'll say that name again if you want to look it up I mean I bought it on uh, Amazon for about 15 pounds an absolute bargain it's called Speedlink Sports Tournament Edition they, they do other ones as well uh, competition pro USB um, joystick um, come with some software games as well, uh, which I haven't played. California games, winter games, and summer games. I presume they play uh, a lot like Daily Thompson Decathlon, your waggling joystick of back in the day. Um, I broke loads of joysticks uh, as a kid playing those those games going like this all the time. I'm not doing that again, so I'll use keyboard on that, but the, these joysticks are, are too nice to, um, to, to break on those sort of games. So that's pretty much uh, how you have it, really. Um, still use a PlayStation controller on a PlayStation, because that, that just makes sense. But um, Commodore Amiga and Spectrum, I use the, the Speedlink controller. There's a lot of other ones in that range as well, so I uh, hope that answers that question for you. Uh, what controllers do you use? You can get um, a, a, a lot of USB ones, but there's NES controllers, Nintendo 64, and pretty much anything you, like, you um, can look for, really. So, yep, yeah, please comment below your favourite controllers. And uh, till next time, then, thanks for watching and goodbye. Goodbye.